Okay, um, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So for this week, we'll be covering chapter 1. Uh, so support chapter 1 uh, is an introduction to geometry. So this is the title. Uh, as for historical background, okay, uh, geometry is actually a uh, geos, earth, uh, plus with metron measure. So that is how geometry got the name of. Okay, branches of geometry uh, can be divided into two. The first one is Euclidean uh, geometry and now and non-Euclidean geometry, which consists of uh, with which consists of elliptic, hyperbolic, and projective geometry. And as for application, it is solving most problems from building structure to astronomy and navigation uh, and field of geometry known as the study of angles, lines, parameter, uh, areas, and also volumes. So all this historical uh, background, you can read more once uh, you guys already uh, purchased the book. Yeah? And this is the basic geometry terms that you guys have to know. Okay, This one is just um, uh, the terms that yeah, you certainly have to know. Lah. You, memorize and you don't need to memorize because uh, at this point, we are doing ODL. So it is an open book, but you have to know lah which uh, which one. Eh? Okay, the first one is a point. Okay, A here. Read a point. A point A has no length, width, or height. It's just this point. And then we have a line. Okay, CB arrow uh, above CB. Read line CB has length but no width or height. Has two headed arrows. Yeah, we have two headed arrows. So we call that a line. Okay, how about a line segment? Okay, AB dash read line segment AB has defined length two endpoints. Here we have two endpoints. So if the line have two endpoints, basically it's a line segment. And how about array? Okay, basically array we have uh, consists of one endpoint, part of the line here. Okay, and you only one um, one arrow. Okay, CD, read ray CD. So, CD is actually a part of a line, right? Okay, so that is what we call a ray. And how about a plane? Okay, it is 2D flat surface, has width and length, but no height. Okay, it's just a, three, a 2D surfaces, 2D surface. So, basically, it has no height. Lah. Okay. Okay, another basic geometry terms, a space. It is a 3D surface, has has width, length, and also height. Okay, so this is 3D. Okay, we call it a space. And how about an angle? Okay, an angle is having two rays. Yeah, two rays. Two rays here, one, two. Here, one, and two. Or two line segments that meet at the same endpoint vertex here. These two ray or two line meet at vertex, one line here. An angle is formed between them. So this is the angle. So basically, this is the angle. So how to write it? Here, ABC. Read angle ABC. Here, A, A, B, C. So the angle located at B. Okay, in between A and C. That's how you read angle. Okay, terminology. Terminology, sorry. So a statement, a statement is a sentence which is either true or false. Axiom or postulate, a statement that is assumed to be true without proof. Okay. Theorem, a statement that is proven to be true. Proof, a sequence of true statements. Property, characteristics and shapes of objects by logical reasoning. Given, a statement that is assumed true in the process of proving. Meaning that uh, this statement already uh, already been given in the question or uh, statement is that is assumed true lah in the process of proving. Definition, explain a meaning of a term used. Reasoning, any process of drawing and, conclu and conclu a conclusion from a set of true statements. Colliner, three or more points that lie in a straight line. Coplanar. Points, lines, or figures lying in the same plane. Congruent, figures having the same shape and size. 
Perimeter, the distance around a geometric figure. Area, the size of a geometric figure. Okay, here are some of the properties of congruent. Okay, we have reflective, symmetric, and trans transitive. So any geometric figure is congruent to itself, meaning that it is uh, the same, uh, it is reflective. So AB is, this is how we do it, or we denote, uh, denote, we write down uh, the reflective uh, properties. AB dash, uh, here, the symbol, and then AB dash. And how about symmetric? If one figure is congruent to a second figure, then the second figure is congruent to the first. It is more likely like a transitive uh, properties. Um, it's actually uh, uh, no transitive is different. Sorry, this is transitive. Transitive this is symmetry. So say that uh, AB is equal to CD, then CD is equal to AB, and then it is symmetric. Transitive is another story. It involves three, three item, because this one is just two, AB, CD, CD, AB. If one figure is congruent to a second figure, okay, A is equal to uh, AB, CD, and the second figure is congruent to the third figure, the second one, CD, equal to EF, then the first and the third, the first and the third here, are congruent to each other. Uh, that is transitive. So, AB implies EF. Okay? Do you get uh, what does it mean by uh, how to differ between these two? Okay, symmetric is like um, uh, Ali is actually Ahmad. Okay? It's just an example, okay? So, basically, Ahmad, Ahmad is Ali. Okay, how about transitive? Transitive is um, okay. Um, my name um uh, let me give this example. Okay, Harliza, me, is actually rich. And rich is actually a uh, lots of money. So the third statement is actually Harliza has lots of money. That what we call transitive. So Harliza has lots of money. Uh, that is transitive. So you have to be sure you can differentiate between these two lah. Uh, reflective ni uh, Ali is Ali lah. Ali is equal to Ali. Okay. Uh, it's just an example. Okay. This is not how <laughs> um, geometric question. Okay, problem solving. Um, logic, the science of correct reasoning. Reasoning, the drawing of inference or conclusions from known or assumed facts. Okay, we have two. The first one is deductive reasoning. And the second one is inductive reasoning. Okay, what's the difference? Okay, deductive reasoning is a process to prove statement beginning from true facts followed by statements justified by previous theorem or definition. So, for example, all students eat pizza. Muhammad is a student. Therefore, the third uh, conclusion is, therefore, Muhammad eats pizza. So, this is a deductive reasoning. Okay. From, uh, from the statement, from the two statements here, we conclude one conclusion. Okay. Another example. All athletes work out in the gym. Saiful is an athlete. Therefore, this is the conclusion that we make. Therefore, Saiful is a sample workout works out in the gym. Okay, the conclusion is the, uh, is deduct from the uh, two statement here. And however, for inductive reasoning, involve going from a series of specific cases to a general statement. The conclusion in an inductive argument is never guaranteed. For example, cheesecake, cheeseburger, and pizza are delicious. Therefore, all delicious food are made of cheese, which is not. Uh, never guarantee. Another example. Calculus and algebra courses are easy. Therefore, all mathematics courses are easy. It's not guaranteed, right? Okay. Not all, yeah? So, uh, so the difference between these two is, uh, this one is a uh, conclusion made out of 
uh, two statements made of from the previous statements. And this one is a conclusion made of previous statement, but it is actually never guaranteed. Okay, um, as for tutorial, since you guys, uh, we don't have the book yet. Um, I will try to scan uh, the question and give it to you. Okay, okay let's look at the uh, second video.